Hello, you guys. We gonna cook. Cook. We gonna make a burrito. A burrito, y'all. I'm just gonna chop up these walnuts. Cause this is gonna be my um, meat. My meat for today. I'm gonna have to chop them up really, really good. Hello. <laughs> What's up? We're gonna cook a burrito today. Burrito. A burrito with beans, rice, uh, what else? Guacamole, sour cream, cheese. Uh, what else? I'm gonna add, I'm gonna probably add some onions in there. Of course. Hey, Nick. What's up, girl? What you doing? How you been? I had to go back. I had to go back and rewatch your um, video last night. King. I mean, yeah, I watched it. I think this morning or last night, I watched your video. Goldfishies right there. But girl, yeah. I said that is so neat. I did not know that's how you would do that. I never even thought about how to do that Chaco Chaco. I thought that was so creative. You talking about baby girl? What's up, Hunter? How you doing? Hey, Dueno, what it do? What it do? Y'all, we just about to cook. Yeah, I thought that was so neat. You're welcome. I was like, dang, that's so creative. But that's what I love. I love the fact that like, man, let me tell you something. What I struggled with a few years ago, I struggled with trying to how to be creative, right? Because we live in a society where they don't push creativity. And honestly, creativity can get you, I just feel like a long ways, this is just my opinion. I feel like creativity can get you a long ways versus a job, right? Because when you are creative and you come up with something, that's yours. That is yours. Like, nobody can take that, right? And then you could, I mean, if it's a product or something like that, you know, you sell that product. Like, I mean, literally, creativity can make you rich. You know what I'm saying? Like, it can make you rich. So, I, would, I used to struggle with creativity for a long, you know, for a few years. Hey, y'all. Hey, Bud Files. Welcome in. Hey, K-Styles. Hey, fun. Um, I'm making a burrito. Uh, um, like a... Yeah, just a burrito with um, like cheese on top of it and stuff like that. But it's vegan style because I'm vegan. I don't know if you know that or not. Hey, Ruthie. I'm cooking a burrito. Yeah, just like a burrito right now. I'm chopping up my walnuts. My walnuts is going to be like my... My ground beef, like my meat. So, I'm just chopping them up like really, really, you want to get them really, really fine. Like, really, really fine. And then I just season it. I season it to my liking. That's the thing is like, 
the really really what meat is is just season you just put your season on the meat you know and so you can use a substitute for it and it tastes the same y'all it just to me it tastes you know it's a slight difference but man it's not that much of a difference i'm just gonna be honest i mean the one the one thing that i would say you can't really i would say maybe like seafood and pork because pork has like that flavor to it pork just has that flavor and I mean, you can manipulate it a little bit, but um, you can't do it too much. I have not, I'm just going to say I haven't yet been able to manipulate it. But maybe, maybe I will. Maybe one day I will. Hey, Lisa. Living life with Lisa, Lisa. Hey, Ruthie, I see your, um... Your, your haul, your grocery haul, but I didn't comment. But I saw your grocery haul this morning. Hey, Selena, Selena, beautiful Selena. Hey, girl. Hey, Val. Yes, Val, I'm in the kitchen, girl. I'm in the kitchen, whipping it up. What y'all doing today? But okay, so back to me talking about being creative, right? I personally feel like, you know, when you creative, you can create. Like, you you can do so, like, I don't know. I feel like when you creative, you can, it relieves you of a lot of things. Like, for example, like, when I watch Lisa Lisa and she creates, um, or Annette, or all of y'all. Y'all are creative in your own way when you cook your food or you decorate your house a certain way, that's creativity. Like, that literally could lead, like, you know, like, if you guys wanted to make that your full-time, like, be an entrepreneur, you could. You really could. Because there are people all the time who want you to do desserts for them, pies for them, or, like, um... Or decorate their house. Like, man, come on. I'm, I'll am i be looking for an interior decorator. I'm not even going to lie. I do. Because I be feeling like I can't decorate sometimes. Yeah, keep keep being creative, Lisa. Because that, girl, that could be your, that's, that's entrepreneur right there. People are people be looking for stuff like that. So like, if you're not creative, try to be creative. You know, try. I don't know if you a, if you love to paint, if you love to cook. Cook is art. It like cooking is art. You know what I mean? Um, being an interior des designer is art. Uh, being a makeup artist is art. Like, I don't think a lot of people look at this stuff, but a lot of this stuff is art. And it gets your it gets your mind to be creative, right? It gets you to be creative and stuff like that. So, um, sorry, y'all. I know this thing ain't making noise. Yeah, y'all. I'm chopping this up really, really good. Cause like with walnuts, walnuts can be hard, and like um. You know, you I don't want my meat hard. Like I don't want to be chewing on nothing hard. So I gotta chop it like really, really fine. And that way it can cook fast. It won't have to cook slow. I'm changing things around my house now. I'm afraid to try and paint my house. Do it, Ruthie. Don't be afraid. Do it. Guess what? If you mess up, you can you can just paint right on over it. That's the beauty of it. Right, you can just paint right all over it. Get creative. I think that's a good thing. Did you soak them? No, I didn't soak them. I should have, but I didn't. I didn't I didn't think about it till it was too late. Right, Lisa, you'd be surprised how it turned out. 
Like, just do it. Because I used to be like that, too. I used to be afraid. But, um, I don't know. YouTube kind of saved my life because, like, it gets me to be creative, right? Cooking and stuff like that. Like, and so, like, now my mind is always working. I'm always thinking about coming up with different dishes and stuff like that. Hey, Frank. Thanks for coming in. I see you. See, you said you got your TikTok back. I'm happy about that. Yeah, when I chop them down really, really small, I feel like I don't have to soak them, but um, the best thing is to soak them, though. I like the different recipes. Thank you, Ruthie. Y'all give me, YouTube gets me to be creative. So I like that. It gets me to coming up with different, different recipes, different things. So, I love it. I mean, you'd be surprised where your creativity takes you, right? You'd be real surprised where it takes you. I mean, literally, you could quit your job, right? You could, there's so many people that like, I don't know, I always talk about this, y'all, but I'm one of those, I know some people, they love working. They love working. Y'all, I don't like working. I'm just going to be honest. It's not that I don't like working. I like making easy money. Okay? I don't like slaving for my money. And then, you know how these people nowadays, when they give you a raise, they want to give you like a 10 cent raise, a 50 cent raise. What the hell is that going to do? What is that going to do? You know what I'm saying? I had to work for y'all for, for 50 years for me to really get some. I'm over that working for people. I started out just putting a bow on a reef to making my own reef from scratch. Right. Can you eat tortillas? Yeah, I can eat tortillas. What do you use for the tortilla or do you eat? Oh, so I'm going to um, I'm just put the, um, like, stuff the burrito with it. Yeah, tortillas don't have, um, they don't have egg in them. Yeah, they don't have egg in them. Well, most of them don't that I know of. But yeah, um, being a vegan, you can eat a lot of bread. Like, that's the thing with being vegan. A lot of the carbs and stuff are vegan. So pasta, bread, all of that stuff. So, I mean, people be thinking when you be vegan, like you can't get fat. She, you can get fat. Okay, you can get fat when you vegan. Cause it's a lot of processed, a lot of um, carbs and stuff like that that's not vegan. So you can get fat. That's why you got to be careful. I'm trying to lose this last bit of weight I got going on. Yeah, she she do be creating. Lisa do be creating all kind of stuff. Hey, Riaz. How you doing? I love watching her do it because I'm like, and I know her, and I know her, um, her husband likes it too, because it's like, I don't know, you get to be in your feminine energy, right? I feel like, especially us black women and stuff like that, sometimes we don't get a chance to be in our feminine energy. You know, we don't get a chance to create and things like, to even think about creating or doing art. Because why we, majority of the time, we're busy working taking care of the family, like we're doing everything all at one time. So we're not able to reside in our feminine energy 
and uh and 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 create because if anybody knows a woman is creation like we create a woman that's what we do we create right so sometimes as black women we don't get a chance to reside in our feminine energy and do that because we so busy with survival mode all we just thinking about is surviving That's why it's good for men to let a woman be in her feminine energy and not so much think about the bills. If you let a woman create, before you know it, the woman been and created a whole business where, where he don't have to work, she don't have to work no more, none of that. I mean, you see it today, look at like Tabitha Brown. Tabitha Brown retired her husband. She retired him. I think he was like a cop or something like that. She retired him from uh from being a cop. Why? Because she got in her feminine energy. She started posting on Facebook, on all these social media sites. And before you know it, man. That lady was financially free. Okay, y'all, look. Now it's chopped down really, really fine. It kind of looked like ground beef, don't it? Kind of. Not yet. Once I put my seasonings on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Y'all, I'm different. I'm different. I'm a free thinker. I'm I'm different from other people. Like, I don't know. And I know some people might not like it. Hey, Shay, what's up, girl? Yeah, she did. But she 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 stepped out on faith and she did it. You know what I mean? She stepped out on faith. The career I was aspire to is fashion retail after my college. Do it. Hey, pow pow. What's up, the prince? How you doing? How you doing, prince? Where you been at? I ain't seen you in a long time. Hey, Jupox, how you doing? Looking beautiful today, girl. Thank you, Shay. Hey, Carl. I'm doing really good, Tays. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Here's some chips. Yeah, I'm just chilling, about to uh, do a video in a minute. So I said, why don't I go live? Hold on one second, y'all. Okay, I'm back. I'm big. I'm big. Tell you what you got. I'm cooking some, uh, right now, I'm cooking the ground, like ground beef. Ground beef. But it's actually walnuts. So I'm cooking that. And uh hey anti. I was like, girl, I'm live, girl. I'm cooking some ground beef and then I'm just gonna cook some. I got some, I'm gonna do a burrito. And I got some rice and I got some uh refried beans. I've never tried these before, but I'm gonna just see. <gasps> I'm gonna probably put some onion in here. Oh, I'm gonna put some avocado. Yeah, I'm gonna put some avocado. 
And I want some sour cream in my burrito. How you doing, Anti? Are you good? You okay? I'm just checking on you. I gotta clean up as I go. Y'all know how that go. You clean up as you go, then you ain't gotta worry about it. Cause man, we after you eat, you don't be feeling like doing nothing. Y'all already know. Don't feel like doing nothing. Hey, Carol, what's up? How you been? Thanks for coming in. Yeah, y'all. I was just talking about being, just being creative and stuff like that. I, I be curious about what type of audience I got. Oh, she is? Dang, I didn't even know. I just went. I just went. I didn't even know. Y'all, so I'm going to let these toast real quick. And then I'm going to add my seasonings. Can y'all see? I'm going to add my seasonings in here to give it like a beefy type of flavor. So to give it like a beefy. F oh, shoot. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. I mean, y'all way. I mean, y'all way. I gotta open up my uh, season cabinet. Uh, you can't share it, huh? What do you mean I can't share it? Like share my live out? Is that what you mean? know what you mean. I'm about to add a little water in here. Thank you, Frank. I appreciate you. Y'all go check out Frank's channel if y'all don't know Frank. Y'all go check him out. They be messing with him. Hey, Tay, you look so Italian with that dress so fresh. I do. Let me show y'all the dress. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on now. Let me show them everything now. Yeah? Nah, let me stop. This is Italian? Thank you. I appreciate it. I know you about to go. I'll call you once I get off of here. cute i'm cute or whatever whatever don't do that don't do that don't be like that hey james don't do that that's what see that's what we not gonna do that's what we not gonna do Sometimes I don't even worry about. No, but you you was real on what you were saying, Frank. When you was like, you was like, man, I helped a lot of people out, and and basically, you know, like that they, they ain't helped me. And I mean, that's real. But it's like, what can you do? You know, this this YouTube stuff is, y'all. It's just social media is wild. It's wild to me. You know. It's wild to me. I mean, it's hard, though. I'm not going to lie. To support everybody, it gets overwhelming at times, right? Because you can get to a point 
where you're supporting a lot of people and you're doing a lot where you forget your content. You know, you forget what you're supposed to be doing. And I personally feel like, you know, a lot of, sometimes I have to shut myself down from uh, watching people's stuff because I need to edit my own videos or I need to do my own stuff, right? Like, that's how I be feeling. I have to be like, man, okay, enough, enough, that's it. Hey, Cal, I'm cooking a, a burrito, like a um, a smothered burrito. Yep, I'm cooking the meat right now. Hey, Miss Kirkland. That video was built up a long time. I just needed to reveal it. Yeah, you got to. Sometimes you got to just express your, express how you feel. Sure. And if, and if people take it the wrong way, then oh well, they took it the wrong way. But I personally feel like, man, hey, it's your channel. You know, if you don't want to, if somebody don't want to watch it, then shit, fuck it, don't watch it. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't the channel. I'm I'm done trying to please people. I'm going to just be honest. And I never really was pleasing y'all anyway. But I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm going to do what I want to do. And if you like it, cool. If you don't, I mean, then, you know, some people already don't watch me no more because of the things that I say. I'm not mad. I'm not butthurt. Like, you know, it is what it is. Nice knowing you. That's how I personally feel about it. Nice knowing you. Okay? I ain't mad whatsoever. The House of Urban Lounge. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it, Urban Lounge. Thank you for coming in. Thank you, Selena, Selena. And I'm very protective. Yep, Tay, I have to stay focused on my channel and help. Yeah, you do. You just got to stay focused on your channel because you'll forget in the end. Because, listen, at the end of the day, YouTube is really creativity, right? So you have to be creative. You have to come up with something new or something different or something uh, maybe somebody else has done and you kind of make it your own way. I don't know. You know what I mean? But you have to come come up with things, right? And so uh, how can you do that? That's why a lot of people be stealing other people's content, right? That's what they be doing because they ain't thinking – they're not thinking creatively. All they doing is watching other people and then taking their shit. And you got a lot of people. I've noticed there's a lot of people that do that on this platform. They take people's stuff. And then they don't even give them credit. They don't even say, hey, oh, I got this from such and such and such. Hey, Crafty. Thanks for coming in. How you doing? I'm going to go because, girl, I can smell the food and I'm getting a tummy. Ah, all right, Shay. Thank you for coming. Yeah, you got to, man. What's up, Chef? How you doing? Y'all go check out Chef. Chef be over there doing his thing. He be cooking some good shit. But he be over there on live too. Talking. But yeah, man. YouTube, man. Screw that. People be stealing stuff. I'm just going to say that. People be stealing. People be, take, be taking other people's content and stuff like that. And don't say it. Don't say anything. And this is and this is the this is the kicker, right? This is the kicker. Is that when you do that, when you do that and you take other people's content and stuff like that, majority of the time, it does not work out well for you. Why? Because a lot of us are just not designed to do certain things, right? That's not your gift, right? When you, God gives us gifts. We all are talented in some kind of way, believe it or not. It's just really, it's up to you to find that talent. You know, it's up to you to figure out what's your purpose in life. 
What are you here for? What are you supposed to be doing? This is my personal opinion, but I truly feel like that all of us are here for something. We are here, we are here to help each other, believe it or not. Even though our lives can be kind of effed up, but you're, but you're here to, this is, they call it alchemy. And alchemy, what alchemy means is you take something that's like nothing and you turn it into something, right? So we are supposed to have alchemy in our life, right? You're supposed to take nothing. You you being a little old person from, from the hood or a person from this, a person from that, and you're supposed to turn it into something, right? That's what you're supposed to be doing. So when you are a person that you see yourself like, I don't know why people, you know, would, would like me because of this or because of that. Y'all lost my train of thought. Damn. I lost my train of thought. I mean, basically what I'm trying to say is, is that your, your life, you're supposed to do alchemy in your life. You're supposed to, the, the position you at right now, you're supposed to change and make it better, right? Once you make it better, you're supposed to bring everybody along with you. That's how it works. And then you're supposed to give people the tools and the gifts to help them. You ain't just supposed to be on, on, on a high mountain, just chilling by yourself, not giving nobody any knowledge, not telling nobody. No, whatever gifts you got, teach other people how to get there. I feel like all of us got a purpose. All of us supposed to be doing something. So everybody needs to be figuring out what's their gift. I'm eating this cereal and all I can smell is good. <laughs> and I, you supposed to be uh, using your gift, like using your gift to help others. That, that's what you're supposed to be doing. You're not supposed to be on here tearing each other down, bringing each other because you see one person at the top of the hill. Now you want to break them. No, that's not what we're supposed to be doing. You, you, if you're doing it, you're using your gifts the wrong way. And that's what a lot of us, I'm not going to say a lot of us because I don't do that, but that's what a lot of people be doing. They be sitting there, seeing you at the top and want to fucking pull you down. No, come up to my level. Come up to where I'm at. How about I give you, I help you. I give you the information. But a lot of times people want everything free. Or they want you to shout me out, shout me out. They don't want to do the work. I can shout you out. I can help you out. I can do all of that. But at the end of the day, man, you got to do the work. It's up to you. It's up to you. If you don't want it, then you ain't even going to get there. So it's pointless to shout, shout you out. Like shout you out for what? You think one shout out is going to get you where you need to go? Nah. Hey, Tamika. Tamika in here. Hey. Hey, I love Burger King. You like Burger King? Burger King is all right. Hey, Scorpio Mama. Sorry if I missed anybody. But, yeah, that's how I just, that's how I feel. Like, you know, trying to tear somebody down, that shit make no sense. I never understand people who be in the presence of great people or be in the presence of someone who's doing very well. Do y'all know what I do when I'm in the presence of someone who's doing better than me? I soak up all of that fucking information. I soak all of that information up. I'm not trying to tear you down. I'm not trying to take you down. I'm trying to figure out what you know. What you know. How can I get to where I can get to? What, what, what people can you lead me? Do you know somebody who knows somebody who can help me? That's what I be on. I don't know, y'all. Some of y'all weird. Y'all weird. Y'all don't want to see the other person do good, so you just want to take them down. No, you can get there too. You don't never know. You don't know who they know. You know what I'm saying? When you're in the presence of greatness, you absorb that information. You take in all the knowledge you can. That way, you know, you apply it to your life. 
Man, these people weird. Let me taste this. Mm-hmm. I'm not cute. Oh, okay. Thank you. She be quiet. You talk too much. Mm, y'all in here crazy. Y'all, y'all going in. The fact that I you commented and said I'm not cute, it lets me know I'm cute. Because I ain't even say I was cute. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. We over here talking about some real motivational stuff, and you over here talking about how I look. See where your mind is at? That's exactly what I'm talking about, y'all. It's some um, it's some um, some vegan beef broth. It's vegan though. Artificial. It's artificial um, beef flavoring. And it tastes like it tastes like beef too, y'all. It tastes like beef, for real. It really does. Thank you, I appreciate it, Love Burger. Thank you, Scorpio Mama. Dang, I'm so I'm so happy to see you, man. Y'all. When I make this burrito, should I do one or two? I'm thinking I should do two. What y'all think? I always got to do it big. I can't help it. Because if I do this one burrito, that is not going to look good on camera. Like, this little bitty one, no. I need two. Yes, Kirkland, I need two, right? Put, but put two of them together like this. And then put everything down. That's what I'm going to do. So, what I'm about to do is, I'm going to make my cheese. What's that talking about? 3,000. Take us black people on YouTube, got it rough. Uh, I mean, look, in general, I'm going to just be honest. In general, we got it rough, but... Is it possible? Is it possible? Anything is possible. Regardless of the things that we have against us, it's possible. You know what I mean? To do whatever it is you want to do. I think it's possible. Well, not I think. I know it's possible. Hey, how you doing from India? Uh-oh, Anti over here blocking. She blocking. Y'all better be careful what y'all say. You can hear the noise of the food. Beloved has three million subs and she helps out in support. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. She does. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. And that's good that she do that because, I mean, you got a lot of people who don't do that. You got a lot of people who who get to the top like be love and they not shouting nobody out. They not doing none of that. You got people right now who can have 500 subscribers and then they get to 30K and they act like they don't know you no more. Like, what the fuck? But I love when people do that. When they, when they like blow up, I love it. But when you start acting funny, I'm like, big. okay, I see how you move. But I ain't even mad at you, you know? But I just personally feel like if I um, if I blow up, well, I personally feel like I know. I'm going to still be the same person. Fuck it. I'm still going to be talking to y'all. Thank you, Anti. Hey, Calamilo de Cafe. Thank you, Hassan. Uh-oh, who cussing? Oh, shit, somebody saying I look pregnant. Goddamn. That's wild. That is wild to me. I mean, 
If I was, is it, it, hey, Ace of Spades, is it a problem? Right, I'm always love my peace. Yeah, I'm always love y'all, for real, for real. I'm gonna open up this one too. Yeah, I'm gonna have avocado in here. I'm about to make me some uh some cheese with some rotel in it. And that's gonna be fire. Oh, I don't have no lemon. You can turn it up just a little bit. You suck, introvert. I love it. What? I'm cooking um, uh, uh, like a smothered burrito. So right now what's cooking is um, the meat, which is walnuts. That's my meat. Y'all see how it's coming out? Y'all see the walnut meat? Does that look like ground beef? Kind of, not really. But yep, that's my meat, y'all. And that's how it came out. And, and it tastes good. Let me taste it one more time to make sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, you want these fries? I'm just put a little bit more water in here. I slipped up when they go at folks mm. I care about. What are y'all talking about? You cut somebody out. I can't see what's going on. Thank you. Oh, you talking about uh, uh, Mary? You talking about uh, cussing people out? Or, or going at people. Especially when the person ain't done nothing. Like, why you going at them? For what? I need some salt and some pepper. Hey, frugal mama. Oh, they be, com they be coming for Frank. They be coming for Frank. I don't know why they come for him because he don't be doing nothing. I don't see why. I mean, he just be chilling. Y'all, I would add like tomatoes. And onions in, I might I might add some onions in here, but I just wanted like just straight guacamole. I normally would add a little bit of lemon, but I ain't got no lemon, so I'ma just do that. Last one in here. What if, what else should I put in my burrito, y'all? Well, it's too late now, huh? The fruit fries right here. I'm trying to help Frank get his folks back. I'm just wondering where everybody at. What happened? Ain't nobody coming to his channel? How many subs you got, Frank? I don't even be taking a look at people's subs. How many subs you got?
You pop pop Scorpio people the best. Okay now. Okay now. What's up, y'all? Thank you, Scorpio Mama. Hey, Holly. What's her name? What's up, Rick? Hey, Alicia. Okay, y'all. I'm going to make this cheese sauce, and then I think that's it. I'm going to show y'all how I make how I make my um, vegan cheese, like, cheesy. I'm going to show y'all how I do it. Because vegan, that's the only thing I hate, hate about vegan cheese is, is like, it's, it, don't, it don't have, like, the string. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make it, like, stringy. But I know how, I, I know how to do it. I know how to do it, y'all. I know how to get it to be like real stringy, like kind of a little bit. Not as much, but I'm gonna show y'all. I'ma wait, I'ma wait till I'm done over here. You know what? I'm gonna put the food over here. Hey soul food, how you doing? Yeah, I mean, I, I hope. Did, did y'all tell me how many subs Frank got? They messing with him or what? I like Frank. He cool. And he support me. Shoot. He be watching my videos. He be watching my videos. I appreciate that too. So that's why I try to go over there and support him. So you're going to put some butter in the pan. You're going to make like a little roux or whatever. But um, this is how I make it like stringy with some uh, tapioca starch. Tapioca starch make it like um, stringy. So I put like a little bit in there. That's what help it give it like that cheese pull. I need to buy me some more. I probably bought me some more this weekend. Frank has 140 now. I just subscribed. He got 140? Damn. I thought you had 1K. Y'all, thank you, Anti, for going over there. Y'all go over there. That's too much work, boo. What's too much work? Yes, Frank is a real Yeah, Frank is a real one. He is a real one. Do y'all put tomatoes in y'all burrito? I don't want tomatoes. So look, I'ma just um do it like this. Let that let that um that tough yolka starch. Uh, cook a little bit. It's like a little roux you make. You welcome. You too got rid of my other channel, which was... I know, but to me, why? Because you wasn't doing nothing on there. That's weird to me. I don't understand. You would just be posting stuff on the news. You would be showing what you went with your grocery haul. Or you'd be showing like an unboxing or something like that. So that's weird to me. Hey, Chrissy. I saw your video. This is some almond milk. 
I saw your video. I hope y'all find a place. Tell you want me to drop any links? You can, yeah, you can if you want to. You can drop pranks. You can drop other people, other people, Lisa, Lisa. This is the um, vegan cheese, y'all, right here. I'm just going to have pour all that in there. Because ain't that much in there. What you making? I'm making a, a burrito, a smothered burrito. I'm going to smother it with cheese. Mm-hmm. I need some more milk, though. We haven't found a place yet, but it's on. Okay, speak it into existence, girl. I know that's right. Okay, y'all. So vegan cheese, it don't really, it don't really have that that dairy taste. That's what I miss. I be missing that dairy taste. But y'all know that dairy ain't good for you. Okay. So to get like a dairy taste, you gotta season it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So one second, y'all. Hold on. What am I gonna add? Oh, okay. So. To season it up a little bit, we gonna add some uh, some uh, nutritional yeast. This give it like a cheesy flavor, like a cheesy flavor. We gonna add some of that in there, and then I want to add some. Um... Ow! I hurt my elbow. I'm gonna add a little chicken broth, like a little chicken to give it like I don't know. This is my secret. It just gives it like a little, I can't explain it, but it does something. So that's all I'm gonna say. You know, hey, take do, do what it is you wanna do. The non-dairy cheese don't, it does taste good. You just gotta learn how to doctor it up. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you how to doctor it up. Cause it don't, it tastes real plain. But you see what I'm doing in here? You gotta season. That's what I'm saying, you gotta season it up. And then look, y'all see how I said vegan cheese don't pull? But look, but look, what's that? But what's that? See what I'm saying? That's that tapioca starch. But I'm gonna add a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Uh, oh shit! Oh shoot! Sorry, y'all. That fell. I'm gonna add a little bit more almond. What y'all cutting up up in here? I'm craving for this now. Oh yeah. Cool. Stay to the end. I'm gonna show you how it looks. I'm gonna show you how it looks. Cause it's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. It go to my go to if you if you knew, go look on my on my um videos right now. You can't tell me. So this is how you get it right here, like this. But now I'm gonna add some uh dang, I wanna add some. Y'all think should I add some of this in here? Should I add some of this and put on top of the burrito with the cheese or just do cheese? Which one y'all think? Thank you, Anti. Right, the Choco Tacos look bomb. Yeah, they did. It's so easy. They were. What y'all think? This, add the Rotel to it, right? And put that on top of the burrito? Okay, everybody say yes. Sonya say yes. Frank say yes. Okay, okay, that's what we gonna do then. That's what we gonna do. I had to get my can opener. Hey, BDB, I, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm feeling good. I think I'm looking good. So yeah, how you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna warm these, I'm gonna warm these uh, beans up and I'm supposed to doctor them up too. Hey, sifting some soil. Um, I'm gonna warm these up and I'm gonna I'm um, season them how I like them too.
Who is that? Oh. Oh, okay, that was you, Mary B. I'm like, I thought somebody had hid you. I'm like, hold on. Hold on. You was hiding somebody. Oh, okay. I was I was tripping out for a second. I'm like, why they hide Mary for what? Girl. Girl, I was finna say, I was about, hold on now. I was about to go out because I'm like, why they hiding you? Uh, let me see. So she regulating this chat. Who, Mary? She going in? Y'all, look at the cheese. I'm going to put the cheese on standby, but look. It could, I could make it a little bit more thicker, but I like it. I like the consistency like this. And let me just taste it to see. See what I'm saying? Now this tastes good. You got to learn how to season it. That's what it is. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. That's the key to vegan food. Just season. Just season. Just season the food. And y'all know how we like. Y'all know how we like our food. We don't play. Okay? We love some seasoned food. Okay? We don't play no games. I've never tried beans in a pouch. Have y'all? This is my first time. Kind of scared, but I'm going to try it and see. I've never tried beans in a pouch, but, you know, hey, hopefully they good. But I'm about to doctor this up. Y'all already know. I don't play around. I'm about to season this. Okay, so I just taste them. They not really bad. They taste pretty seasoned. But, you know, I got to put my spin on it. I'm going to add me some vegan butter. I'm going to add me some onion powder and some garlic powder. And they, um, they pretty much, they, they got like, it tastes like it got some salt in there. So I'm not, I'm good on the salt part because they, they do taste a little seasoned. So I think that'll be good right there. And then I'm going to pop this baby in the microwave. Thank you, Mary B. Y'all, what y'all want to talk about for um for Black History? What y'all want to talk about for Black History? Because I'm trying to figure out what else to talk about. Well, I know a few things. Do y'all want to talk about Queen Nefertiti? Do y'all want to talk about any queens or any kings? Any pharaohs? Or, um, do y'all know that California is named after a black queen? We can talk about that. Um, it's really up to y'all. What does it matter where she live? Oh, Lord, they ask me where I live. Do you miss Queen Elizabeth? Uh, no, I don't. And 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 talk about Jesus Christ. Um. Um. Actually, he was white, in it. Jesus Christ was a white man. <laughs> Believe it or not, he was.
Yep. He was. When you go back and you do the research, he was. He was a white man. He what he what he growing up I always thought I wasn't creative until I gave myself permission to explore my creativity and I fell in love with editing and creating. Girl, Christy, I said the same thing. Listen. I don't think I don't think you was in here, but I was just stating, I was just stating that um to be creative. I think all of us need to be creative in some kind of way, you know, and whatever way it is for you, whatever creativity is, because the I feel like this world today, what they try to do is they try to stop you from being creative. That's why a little bit, that's why you got AI. That's why you got all of these different things that they coming up with, because they don't really want you. They, I feel like they don't want you to think on your own or create because then if you decide to think on your own and create on your own then you know hey you could be successful but i was just talking about that like when i first started the live i was talking about that because um i'm putting my rice in the microwave y'all i don't feel like cooking this rice hold on one second Okay. Uh, yeah, so I was just talking about that because I'm like, I'm like, man, YouTube saved my life. I feel like YouTube saved my life because I was able to be creative because for a few years, I kept thinking like, man, I'm, I was trying to figure out how to be creative and how I started off being creative, I started doing makeup. Because I was just working, y'all. I was working day in and day out. I didn't have time to be creative. You know, I didn't have time to think of things or do anything. And I feel like a woman especially needs to be creative, but a man too. But then I said, you know what? I have been wanting to do YouTube for years. For years I've been wanting to do YouTube. I mean, since I was probably like 14 years old, 13, 15 years old, and I just never did it. And then, what, two years ago, I think it's been almost two years, two years ago, then I said, you know what, I'm supposed to just start my channel. And when I started my channel, I didn't think that was going to make me be creative in my food because I didn't see it like that. I was like, I'm just up here, you know, doing something that I love to do or whatever. What y'all talking about? I buy those many. Oh, yeah, I buy those too. You're so perfect for two YouTube. I love watching you. Thank you, Anti. I appreciate that. Growing up, I always thought I was. Yeah. Um. No, look at that again. Yeah, they go they they work really, really well. As a whole, you gotta get back to being innovative and original when it Yes, you really do. You really do. Like, um Oh shit, y'all, I'm losing my train of thought. But um, so when I did YouTube and stuff like that, right? I was like, okay, wait a minute, like I can create you know different different meals and stuff like that it is really bringing out my creativity and it's like i don't know i feel like it's turning into something you know just something i never thought about it keeps my mind working but like i was saying early bdb is that a lot of people take your take a lot of people are not creative 
all they do is just scroll looking at other people's content and they take that content, right? That's what they do. They take other people's content. That's not cool, but whatever. It is what it is. People just do that sometimes. Tay makes for a great motivational speaker too. I swear once she told me about boundaries, I set them things and got better. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate that. You know what make me a, a great motivational speaker is because I've been through shit. You know what I mean? A lot of people, you see people on camera and you look at their life and you feel like, oh, they have it all together. And we don't. You know what I mean? We're just learning. And I've just experienced a lot. I've experienced... Whew, I've experienced a lot of people manipulating me. A lot of people tearing me down. A lot of people doing all of that to me. And it took me to realize that I had to set boundaries. Because and I, in all honesty, you know, y'all might see me like, you know, a really nice person. I used to be really, really nice. Like, too overly nice to the fact that people would, like, trample over me. Right? And so, I had to get to a point where I had to set boundaries for myself. Because if you don't set boundaries for yourself, then people would just run over you right it, it's not it's it's kind of their fault because they shouldn't take advantage but it's your fault too because you are not setting things properly for yourself right because a, a lot of people love to talk about oh the devil this the devil that the devil that's the devil that's the devil this no the devil is in people right because if you think about it right now if somebody does something ill to me i can choose to be a devil or I can choose to take the high road and be an angel, right? So you got either or. It did, this devil stuff is not no fictitious person with horns on their head. No, the devil being everybody. It's just what you gonna decide to do. Are you gonna decide to be the devil or are you gonna decide to be the angel? That's the thing. This devil ain't no fictitious person in a red suit and stuff like that, no. It's people that decide to do devilish things. It's people that decide. It's people that say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this person like that. Like, this ain't no, oh, oh, where the devil, the devil got me to do it. No, you got yourself to do it. You decided to do that. You know what I mean? Nobody told you to do that. You just got devilish ways. That's just what it is. You decide because at any point in my life, I can decide to be the angel or I can decide to be a devil. I got a choice. That's the, that's the beauty of it. God gives us a choice. You can decide whatever it is you want to be. It's up to you. That's just what it is. It's up to you. Sure. Forget all that. Oh, the, oh, oh, the devil in them. I mean, the devil probably is in them. And it probably is a demon in them. But they decided to do that. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate it. But that's just my personal opinion. You know? How we was raised, they got us thinking it's a person in a red suit with, with a pitchfork on, with a um, you know, with a um with a pitchfork and stuff like that. And I don't think that's just what it is. That's not what it is. You know what I mean? It's not an actual, hey, uh, what is it? Hand, hand, hand them. That's not what it is. It's not a person with a pitchfork. It be people, it be demons inside of people that, that try to attack you. And so you have to set boundaries with people. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Because it be people out here that be trying to hurt you for real. And I mean hurt you. I mean wipe you clean.
and and two, I think the universe, the universe, um, it tests you. It tests you. It puts certain people in front of you to see what you gonna do, right? Are you ready? Are you ready for the next step? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for that? The universe will test you to see because a lot of times we be asking for stuff, right? We be asking and sometimes we don't be ready for the stuff we be asking for, we really not ready for. And so the universe will be like, the universe will be like, okay, you said you want such and such and such. Okay, so I'm going to put this person in front of you and I'm going to see what you're going to do. Right? That's what they do. And if you take the bait and you go down that road, that's you. That's on you. Yes, they will try to ruin your life. Don't come in here being disrespectful. Oh, Lord. People hate on those who choose to be. They really do. But the reason is, is that a lot of the times, let me tell you something about your haters. Your haters, they really like you. They, your haters be liking you, okay? They don't want to admit it, but they like you. Because they watch you, they watch what you do. And, and the crazy part, the crazy part about it is, is that your haters will eventually start turning into you in a way like they'll start doing the things that you do believe it or not because when you watch somebody so much you're influenced by them and so they'll start being influenced by you like they really will without even knowing it hey brandy Please don't hit the line button. Three dots right hand in the corner. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, Nicole. What's your thoughts about India? Um, India's good. I don't have any... I really don't have any thoughts about India. I don't have no problems with India. Yeah, India's good. The universe will let you know that you can't trust somebody because they act and look a certain way. Yep. Let me tell you something, right? This is what I had to learn. And some of y'all probably still got to learn this. But some of y'all already know. Some of y'all probably learned this a long time ago. And I'm just now learning. Okay? But, um... Uh, What the world don't teach us is trust your gut. There is a feeling inside of you. There is a gut feeling that you get when you come along and you meet certain people. Right? And you know. Haven't we all been there? There is this like gut feeling that you get. Trust that. Trust your gut feeling. Start trusting yourself. Because I don't think parents... School, none of that show, tells us enough to trust yourself. We always depend on other people to help us out and do stuff like that. No, trust yourself because guess what? There is a spiritual thing that happens with inside of you when you meet somebody. You get a good feeling about somebody. But what do you? But what happens? We always talk ourselves out of it, right? Oh well, no, maybe they not like this, or maybe we just gonna give them a chance, or. You know what I'm saying? And you start making excuses for people. That's where you mess up at. That's where you mess up at. When you make excuses for people. I done done it so many times. So many times. And then I look back. After they done been so shady to me, I look back on it and I'm like, when I met that person, something told me not to mess with them in the beginning. But what? I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt, right? I wanted to get in the benefit of the doubt. No, they not like this. You know what I'm saying? No. Listen to yourself because yourself knows, just like Mary said, intuition. 
We all have some type of intuition. Start listening to it. This is the cheese, y'all. I think I'm going to put a little bit more tomatoes in there. Hey, East. I fell asleep. I ain't even get a chance to watch your live. I'm going to have to hit the replay on that. Facts, Tay. What we cooking? Oh, we cooking a um, burrito. I'm about to um, go ahead and make the burrito now. Yep, I'm about to go ahead and make it now. I'm going to show y'all everything I got. I might bring y'all over here with me. Because I got some onions, some lettuce. These, she's making some. Yeah, I'm making um, like a smothered burrito. Put some hot sauce on it. Yes, I am. I got some um some of that Chipotle. I'm glad you said that, Mary, because I I was gonna do it. But sometimes I be forgetting when I sit down and do the video, I forget. Pop say, put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. Eh. You already know. Okay, so y'all, we must go ahead and build the burrito right now. Right now. Them good. Your boots are so cute. Hey, Muhammad. What's up, Jamie? Thank you. Okay. Let me clean up my mess real quick. Yeah, baby, you got to put up boundaries with people, man. Because if not, people just run right on over them. That's why sometimes as women, like when men do certain stuff, I don't feel bad sometimes because at some point it becomes you. You allow that. You know, why did you allow that? Why did you allow? Why are you allowing him to do that? You know, at some point, I can't get mad at him. Like, you got to look at yourself. <sighs> Go find a website and get off of here. Oh, Lord, they in here cutting up. Oh, well, well. You know what I'm saying? Some people just ain't got no life, you guys. And you can't help that. Some people are really miserable. Some people are really sad. Oh, shit. I look like I have 17 kids. I look fine as fuck for 17 kids, though, don't I? Don't I? Damn, hold on. Y'all check this out. I got fucking 17 kids. But damn. Don't I? Damn. For 17? 17? I look... Fine as fuck. Fine as fuck. Fine as fuck. Fine as fuck. <laughs> ah, that was supposed to be an insult. Thank you. If it was supposed to be an insult, like, damn. That really wasn't an insult, ma'am. That was a, a... That was a compliment. 
they do play too much. Okay, so let's get into this burrito. We're going to do two. I'm going to do two. Okay, so we're going to put the rice down first. A smother burrito. Thank you, Lulu. I appreciate that. He said, girl, you looking like a goddess. Okay, thank you. I just got me like some little Spanish rice, y'all. I warmed it up. So I'm going to put this down. Put this rice. Y'all, I've been talking so much in my um on my live, I don't even know what I'm gonna say. Oh, you know what? I should have put the beans first, huh? But that's all right. We'll just put them right on top. That's all right. We should have put the beans down first, but it's okay. Okay, now we're going to put the meat. I have onions in here. I want to look like you. Oh, thank you, Zeb. Okay, so we got the meat. We got the meat. And then we're going to do some avocado. I got some avocado and I got some uh avocado and some sour cream. Okay, so let's do the um cheese. We're gonna do just a little bit because I'm gonna put cheese like on top of it. Okay. I'm gonna put cheese on top of it. And then we're gonna do some lettuce. And then some avocado. And then some sour cream. I don't like that water in here. Hey, Adrena. Hey, sweet thumb. Yes. Yes, sweet thumb. It's active. How y'all doing? Oh, Drina Live was spicy last night, boy. Let me tell you something. On her live, she had some people on there. And... Let me tell you something. If it's one thing I ain't learned, if it's one thing I ain't learned, if you tell a man, I don't like when you do such and such and such, and he do it, he don't like you. I'm just going to be honest. He don't like you. Okay, y'all, let's see if I can roll this burrito up now. This is going to be the tough part. Baby, because I, I, I be doing too much. I be doing too much. Oh, Lord. Let me push it out some more. Let's go support the channel. Thank you. 
my apology to who I speak. You good, Scorpio mama? Okay. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Now I got to put it in the pan. I don't know how I'm going to put it in the pan, though. That's my thing. See, this be content creator struggles right here. And then it busts a little bit. Let's see. I might. What y'all think? I might have to put it in the oven. I don't know if I can put it. She's a queen and I love her so much and her dressing here. Thank you, Allie. I appreciate that. They coming for me up in here? It's okay. It's all right. Okay, a okay. Y'all know what I can do? I can't put it in no, I don't think I could put it in the pan. So, ooh, we gonna improvise, baby. I'm gonna have to put it in the oven, I think. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna have to put it in the oven for a little bit. I just wanted to, oh my, that looks good. Girl, wait till I put the cheese and stuff on top of it. Wait till I'm gonna put it, all of this on top. But yeah, girl. I just decided to do something different. Hey, Tracy. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up. We got it in the oven. I wanted to like, I wish I could put it in the pan, but I can't. It's too huge, it's gonna break. Uh-uh. I ain't even going to test it like that. I'm going to just do it just like that. It'll be fine. I feel like there's a hair somewhere in that food. It might be, but I'm eating it, so it don't matter. <laughs> it really might be. That's why I really wanted to come on here with a bonnet. But I ain't want nobody talking crap. Because that's how I really cook with a, with a bonnet on. But then when you put the bonnet on, then people got something to say. So it doesn't matter. If I put the bonnet on, you got something to say. If I don't, if I take the bonnet off, you got something to say. But it's my food. I'm the only one in this house that's vegan. I'm the only one that's eating it. So if I do eat it and it's a hair in it, guess what? It's my hair. So um, I guess that would be okay, wouldn't it? I think so. I think it would be okay. It'll be all right. I will throw money at you because you're a queen and you're so beautiful. Thank you, man. You is crazy. Hold on one second, y'all. Okay, I'm back. Let me bring y'all over here. Now we can talk while this in the oven real quick. And I can see everybody comments and stuff. Hold on, let me get a, a seat. Focus on, focus on your number and not her hair. Oh goodness, y'all going at the person. 
Welcome in, everybody. You're so beautiful. I will die from you. Allie, you so sweet. Who is Allie? Allie, I, don't, I appreciate you. I don't even know you, but I appreciate you. Let me plug up this thing. Hey, Sid. That's right. Y'all ain't got to worry about anti usually the one that get them out of here, but shit, you got uh, Mary B and Scorpio. They at it. Beauty and brains can cook in Super Mama. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Yeah, what y'all want to talk about for for um, Black History or whatever? Shut up, East. <laughs> she capping. She really, she really a a, a troll. She really a troll, is that what you're saying, East? That's what Allie really is. Yeah, we don't tolerate the disrespect, so keep it clean. They swiping they ass, anti, you good at what you do. Thank you, I got you otherwise. What's up, Storm? Storm in the beauty, what's up? What's the, I want to ask y'all a question. Do y'all think it's aliens here? Do y'all believe in aliens? Do y'all feel like it's other people here besides us? I'm curious. Y'all, one thing about me is you can't put me in no box because I be all over the place. Like, I am, I, I don't know. Some people like other people to tell them what to do, right? And that's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But me personally, hell no. I do not like nobody telling me what to do. I like to think for myself. I like, you know what I mean? That's why when I was younger and my parents would try to do certain, I always needed a why. And I needed a good explanation. And I need to figure out why I'm doing this. Like, why you got me believing in this? It has to make sense. If it don't make sense to me, I'm not, uh-uh, I'm looking at that sideways, like, what? Like, no. Okay, so you mean, okay, so you mean you only live once? Okay, if you live once, then where does your spirit go? Because we have people that wander on here. You People be feeling spirits, right? So it's like, where does your spirit, after you die, where does your spirit go? Because I think all religions realize that you have a soul. Brandy, give me your phone. What Brandy doing? My neighbor is the one. She weird as hell. She an alien? <laughs> oh, a lot of y'all said yes, yes. Y'all think aliens. Allie say, I'm being honest. I think she's pretty. Thank you, Allie. Because East over here thinking you a troll. That's what East thinking. That you is a troll. Let me get my drink real quick. Oh, shoot. I think some of us are aliens. I think some of us are aliens and some of us are not aliens. I just subscribed to you and I like, thank you, Ali. I appreciate that. The spirit goes back to the, the spirit goes back to the sender. So the spirit goes back to God. If the spirit goes back to God, then why is there spirits here on earth? Tay on here is taking us to the stratus. Y'all don't, I, listen. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm a deep thinker. I just think. I, I think. I can't help it. I'm someone who's always thinking. Like. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm sorry. But I just be wanting to know the answers to stuff. And to me, stuff got to make sense. You just can't tell me anything and think I'm just going to expect to believe it. No. It got to make sense. If it makes sense, 
I'm a very logical person, even though I am like a, a woman, men tend to be more logical. I'm a very logical person. You just can't tell me whatever. And then I'm just going to be like, oh, okay. No, if, if, if the, if the dots are not matching, if the stuff is not making, I'm going to be looking like, no, it got to make sense to me. Thank you, Camelia. I appreciate it. Hey, Adele, big fan from Pakistan. Can we see the outfit of the day? I, sh I showed it. This the outfit of the day. The outfit of the day. There you go. What if the truth doesn't make sense? Then it's not the truth to me. If the truth doesn't make sense, then it's not the truth to me. It's not the truth. I told you it was capped with her. Oh, word. Me too. Always thinking about digging, except nothing questions everything. Right, Storm. I'm telling you, the world we live in, you better question everything. You think your parents taught you correctly. I would question it. I would question it. I think our past loved ones still walk with us. I believe that too, Mary B. You're fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Do you know that I'm from Egypt? Oh, Camilla, you from Egypt? Okay, that's cool. I mean, not to be funny, but a lot of Egypt has been like whitewashed. A lot of Egypt. So the people that are living there now in Egypt are not the original people. They're not the original people that's li that lives there now in Egypt. But, you know. Hey, thank you, Frugal Mama. Appreciate you. I think if you are melanated, you really need to look into your history. You really need... Let me tell y'all something, y'all. I used to... I remember one time, I was young. I was probably about 15, 14. I would cry. I, I remember crying one night, right? And I was like, why they don't like black people? Like, that's why I was crying like that. Like, why they don't like black people, right? Because I just didn't understand why people didn't like black people. And that's what got me on my search to figure out because at first, I used to be like, oh, they don't like black people because they're dark skinned. That's not the, like, I mean, that's part of it, but it's, what? It's a, it's a lot, it's more than that. And when you find out your history and you research it, then you say, aha, okay, I see why. Aha, I see why. Because at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm going to be honest. It's really, it's really about, it's really about genes. It's really about what people have. It's really about who was here first, right? And it's trying, it's, it's crazy. Y'all, the story is crazy. If I really go deep, if I really go deep, which I don't want to go too deep on here. You got roots that trace back, right? You got roots that trace back to the Persian Empire, but I think everybody has to understand that black was everywhere. Black was every in, in Pakistan, it was in India, it was in China, it was in Mexico, it was everywhere. It was in Rome, it was in England, it was everywhere. It's just that it got watered down. And that's why now you have people a certain color because as you go through generation to generation, the gene gets, it washes down, right? When you're, mix, when you're breeding and you're mixing with other races, it ends to get watered down. And now you have people in Egypt that don't look like the original people in Egypt. You got people in, in Asia that don't like look like the original people in Asia. You got people in Mexico that don't look like the original people in Mexico. That's just what it is. 
Oh, okay. Hey, what's up, E Money? I, it's in the oven. I'm about to get it out in a minute. You're welcome. Great to see people expressing it. Oh, thank you, Frugal Mama. I appreciate that. I appreciate that y'all accept me being able to say whatever I want to say freely. But this is a, a lot of the times I cringe when I say certain things because I'm not a typical, I'm not like everybody else. I don't think like everybody. I, I mean, I'm not going to say that everybody thinks, you know, another way. But I, I think differently. And a lot of the times when you go against the grain or you go against the way that people think or people were taught to think, then it's like, you know, terrible. It's like, it's kind of like a bad thing. King, come on. Huh? Ooh, it's hard. Get some chips. A burrito. Yes, a burrito. That looks so good. What's that? Good, Riaz, because I'm a free thinker. I don't like nobody telling me what to do. I don't like nobody telling me. That's why when my parents threw Christianity at me, I had a lot of questions. Well, well why is this? And why is that? And why da 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 And when... I, I'm for y'all that don't know. I'm a preacher's kid. I'm a PK kid. So I grew up as a as a preacher's kid. But I had a lot of questions for my father. I had a lot of questions for him because I wanted to know. And the questions he gave me, my soul didn't sit well with. I was just kind of like, mm, I need to find out the information on my own because this shit ain't something ain't right. I just can't accept some just because it got to make sense. It got to make sense, y'all, for me. I'm just saying. Do you expect to understand everything? Everything is a lot. I expect to understand everything, yes. Because if it doesn't make sense to me, this is the thing, is that if you taking on, especially if you taking on, let's just say, for example, you taking on a religion wholeheartedly, and you die, you literally are dying. You got people that are dying by this. Religion is like the number one thing that people die by. Right now, they're fighting in Israel. They're fighting in Israel over, over people believing in a certain type of God. They're fighting people right now to this day. Right? So... That, you see what Riaz said? I am willing to die for Islam. So if you are willing to die for something like that, you need to know that it's the truth. Why would you die for something that you don't know wholeheartedly? Why don't you know? Every, I mean, when somebody comes at you and somebody asks you, you should have the answers. You should know. It shouldn't be you should be thinking, no. You should know, I know this, 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 this. Not because my parents told me or because I was grown up or I was taught. No. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, yeah, I got to know everything. I don't know about y'all, but I, I got to know. I don't think, I don't think God design this world for us not to know. He didn't design it like that. Everything he did, he did with intention. He did with purpose, right? Everything he did, he did with purpose. If you think about it, how he designed this world. If you look at an apple, an apple is kind of like a heart. An apple is red. It helps with your heart. Every, every fruit and vegetable it heals you in some kind of way or it helps you right so god didn't just design stuff just to design stuff he did it with a purpose he did it with the intention so that means that everything i learned it should make sense because when god designed everything it made sense he just didn't do it just because Yeah, small thinking. It does bring small resorts. 
Just like when Kanye West was doing that TNZ interview saying slavery was a choice, he was in the Oval Office and said, and what he said on SNL. Yeah, people, people, let me tell you something. We're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna get this stuff out because I don't, I got guacamole in there. And Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna warm my cheese up just a little bit and then I'm gonna put my burrito. 500K on sit down with Jay-Z. Did y'all see my booty back there? Did my booty show? Cause I forgot, I got on this short dress. Did y'all see? Somebody say yes or no. Thank y'all for the um the super chats. I really appreciate it. Okay, thank you, Frugal Mama. Girl, cause that child. Child, I'm finna say. Like, nah, don't be showing my booty all on camera now. We ain't looking. Boy, you be looking, boy. You would be looking. Stop playing now. Oh, shit. Okay. What did Anti say? Okay, thank y'all. I wish I seen it. Anti, shut your head. Be quiet. She get on my nerves, y'all. She really do. She get on my nerves, y'all. Oh my goodness. Okay, y'all all said no. Good, good, good. I'm gonna take you out. McDonald's, damn, that's what you think of me? You think of me as McDonald's? Damn, I ain't shit. <laughs> you ain't even say you want to take me to a steakhouse or nothing like that. What was we talking about? Y'all, I forgot. Just that fast, I forgot. What was we talking about? Cause I was gonna say something. Y'all tell me what we was talking about. Okay. Boom, boom, bada bing, bada boom. Tay eats a whole wagon. Girl, you see me when I eat, child, I don't even eat that much. We talking about religion? I don't really want to talk about that no more. I'm into the peen, and that's what's on my mind. You're beautiful, though. Uh, me too, uh, Mary. But one thing about me is I can compliment a woman. A woman that looks good, I don't have no problem um, you know what I mean? Like, uh, complimenting her. I can tell a woman that she's beautiful, you know? I love, I love, like, somebody that look cute, somebody that has something on nice, somebody that looks good. I don't mind saying, you know, hey, you look good, you look nice. I feel like a lot of us women, we need to compliment each other more, you know? What's wrong with saying, oh, you look nice, you look beautiful? LOL, no, you're butt lady. I'm a butt lady. Thank you, James. How you doing? She into women. <laughs> Listen, I probably am low key into women. Women are beautiful. I mean, come on now. Women are beautiful. But I'm going to just be honest, right? When it's, uh, when it's man, I don't know. It's a bit weird. But I, I don't have a problem. Ugh, I don't want to say this. Well, y'all know me. I'm going to say whatever. It's just that when it's, when it's a woman, a woman is beautiful. Two men, I'm looking like, ugh. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. I'm like, ugh, two men, ugh. Thank you, Sarah. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to see it, Lisa. Yeah, I'm about to go. Hello, your inside. Yeah, the same sex. It does look nice. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna bring y'all over here. Cause oh shoot, I done swung y'all all around. I'm about to put this stuff on the burrito, and y'all gonna see. I see your tattoo on your... James, be quiet. Let me see. Okay, that's more. Hey, uh, no, you know we was going to talk about what Carl said. Carl said that when Kanye West said people tend to want to be a slave or, or something, I can't think of the words. Carl had said it, right? And I got what... what Kanye West was trying to say. He wasn't trying to say, like, to put us back in slavery, but what he was saying is, is that we make a choice. You make a choice. What it, what, like, what you want to do, you know? You make a choice. I forgot what Carl had said. You is, what you cooking, James? Thank you, Ata. Okay, you guys. This is the burrito. Let's see if y'all gonna see the pour. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna take y'all over here. I'm gonna take y'all over here to where the burrito at so y'all can see it for y'all selves. So y'all can see it for y'all selves. Because I don't wanna move it. I'm gonna be scared if I move it. Y'all go check out Annabelle Nacho Challenge. I'm about to go take a look at it after I finish. Can y'all see? I'm taking y'all to my whole little setup. Oh, Lord. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to put y'all on here. Hold on. I'm going to have to take y'all down real quick. Right, LOL? Y'all talking. Kanye just been different since he lost his mom. Hold on, y'all. One second. One second. Yeah, he have been different. Kanye has been different. But I think it's the reason why he's been different. And, you know, his mom could be it, but I think it's a little bit more than that. Okay, now, can y'all see? Okay. I'm going to just put y'all right here. Y'all ready? cheesy oh it's dripping too what y'all think look at it it's dripping i'm gonna have to put something down there
Mmm, that vegan cheese is good, y'all. What y'all think of that? Where are you from? Anti-automatic, y'all understand that, Kanye. That look good, don't it? He is very wise, Tracy. I don't think he's weird. I think he's he the the the, the um the uh social media and stuff. The the people are trying to make him feel like he's stupid and crazy and stuff. Kanye ain't crazy. He is not crazy. Thank you, Crafty. Yeah, I don't. I really don't think Kanye is crazy. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do the mukbang. Thank you. Y'all check out my video. It'll be, I think, Monday. Monday. All right, you guys. Bye. Thank y'all for coming. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Mary, Anti. Oh, I hate to name names. Lisa. Thank y'all for the cash apps. I appreciate y'all. I mean, not the cat, the, the, um, y'all know what I'm talking about. Try it, Tracy. Thank you, Frugal Mama. Yeah, Frugal Mama, too. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Later. Uh-oh. Somebody, uh, he's dead time. Somebody out. <laughs>